We wish you a happy new year and a happy new you. Tube video series. It's the 2022 makeshift winter marble Olympics. We're starting with the qualifying round where the eight teams who finished in the middle of the pack in the 2021 makeshift summer marble Olympics will be competing for just four qualification spaces. These are the eight teams taking part and they'll be competing with each other across four different events across two videos. Today we'll be bringing you running in the snow followed by jumping through the air. Then in our next video we'll be bringing you going through the holes along with going through the other holes. So it's time to sit back, relax and consume. We start with heat one of the sprint. Vietnam, Brazil, Poland and Greece get the action underway. Poland with a good start, but Brazil now storming into the lead. They extend it all the way to the end. They advance to the final along with Vietnam in second. Greece off to a really poor start and they never really got into this race. They mount a late attack on Poland, but the Poles manage to hold on to third with Greece in fourth. And they will win some points for that, but not as many, of course, as those who reach the final. Who is going to join them out of Cameroon, Indonesia, Finland and Tanzania? It's Finland and Cameroon, a titanic battle in the front, but Finland fall all the way back into last place in the end. Cameroon with a strong start and an even stronger second half of the race. They take the win and it was close for second. Indonesia looks strong at the beginning, but Tanzania overtake them and Tanzania hold on just ahead of Indonesia to reach the final. With there being only four events in this qualification round, every point matters. So to get a win here will put you well on your way to qualification. Who can take those early big points? Brazil with the lead in this final race. Can they extend it as they did before? No, they let it slip. They finish in third behind both Tanzania and Cameroon, who launched an impressive fight back in the second half of that race. Cameroon pushing Tanzania all the way, but it is Tanzania who take the win and the 12 points with Cameroon in second. Brazil settling for a still respectable eight and Vietnam never really in that race, earning them five points. So just ahead of those who finished in third in the heats with four and those who finished fourth in the heats with two points. We move swiftly on to event number two. It's the ski jump. Each of our marbles will have just one chance to roll their way down the mountain, over the cute little hut and onto the snow below. The measurements we'll be using are those given to us by our fathers and our forefathers before them, inches. This is the order in which our teams will be jumping, starting with Indonesia, who really need a good event here after their underwhelming start in the sprint. They've got things underway with a jump round about the 20 inch mark. Confirmation there just under in fact 19 and 7 eighths of an inch. It's difficult to draw comparisons with last year because the snow and the mountain are very different. So we'll compare them instead to Poland who are up seconds. They had a poor start as well and they've got a similar jump just shy of Indonesia 19 and a half. So that seems to be the benchmark around the 19 to 20 inches and Greece are in desperate need of beating it and they have come nowhere close. Closer to 17 inches in fact, 17 and a quarter the official result. And it's hard to see anyone doing worse than that today without falling into the kitchen of that hut at the foot of the mountain. Tanzania up next and they do very well. They hold to a great start in the sprint and that form has continued here, 20 and three quarters. They take the lead by nearly a full inch. So quite a range then between 17 and around 21 inches. Let's see what Brazil can do. They did well in the first event as well. They got quite a bit of pace coming in off that ramp and they've got quite a bit of distance as well. Have they broken the 21 inch mark? They've 
matched it bang on. They take the lead now. 21, the score to beat. Surely if anyone can beat that, it's last year's ski jump gold medalist Finland. They're up next and it's a decent jump from them. I'm not sure it's quite going to trouble Brazil, but it's certainly over the 20 mark, 20 and 3 eighths. They'll be challenging for the podium points with just two nations left to jump, starting with Vietnam. It's a decent jump from them as well. It's cleared the 20 mark, hasn't quite cleared the 21, slap bang in the middle in fact, 20 and one half. And that moves them into the podium positions now with just one left. Can Cameroon spoil the party for them? New. No. That's another poor jump. Not quite as poor as Greece. But 18 inches is going to see Cameroon finish second from bottom. This is the full rundown of the points won in the ski jump. Brazil and Tanzania continue their fine start to this qualification campaign. That means the total points table so far looks thusly. Tanzania and Brazil with one big fat foot already in the finals. Vietnam and Cameroon currently in the remaining qualification spots with the rest still on single digits. But we're only halfway through and with two events left to go, everything is mathematically still to play for. So make sure you join us next time for some good wholesome fun. And by wholesome, I mean shooting holes and funnel holes. See you then. Yeah!